Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to do a video on how to properly measure, scale, and then slice and dice a helmet to make sure it fits your head all with an Orca slicer before you go ham and print the whole thing. Um, there are lots of workflow processes out there. There's tons of videos about how to do this uh, it within tools outside of your normal slicer, like Mesh Mixer, things like that, where you can export the file out there. You can use the measuring tools and scaling tools and slicing tools and all that good stuff. This video is specifically about how to do how to do that whole process all with an Orca slicer. They have added some of the features from Prusa and some of the other slicers that they take uh, features from, and they've added them within Orca itself to make this process a bit easier. So I've downloaded this uh, Daredevil helmet off of Maker World. I will drop a link in the description, uh, and I brought it in. You can see here that is just a bit too big for my Bamboo Lab A1 bed. And that is okay because right now it's like made for a giant and we're going to scale it down to fit my pin head. So the way to do that first is you're going to need something to measure your head. Uh, I have gone ahead and printed Uncle Jesse's cosplay calipers also found on Maker World. I will leave a link. Uh, I have scaled this down to print on my Bamboo Lab A1. Uh, and so just make sure if you're doing the same and you scale this down, you scale everything. So there are three parts. There are the two arms and then you have the the pin, the, the pin that hinges this whole thing together. Make sure if you scale it all down, uh, that you're scaling it down, you scale it all down so it all fits together. So you use this to basically measure the gaps, uh, measure a couple spots. So I'm going to measure between my temples and I'm also going to measure front to back. Uh, I have done that and I know that I need between here and here about 145-ish millimeters across to make sure that this thing ha uh, fits okay and leaves me room to get it on and off. I also know that from the back, I need about 210 to 215 millimeters to do the same thing. Uh, I wanna make sure that if I can pull this thing on, that it's not stuck on my head and I've gotta cut myself out of it later on. I wanna make sure I can get it on and off relatively easily. So now with the model selected, it's very simple. Up here next to your text or emboss tool, you have a measuring tool. So if we click the measuring tool, uh, we can now rotate this around and inside the helmet, I'm going to grab those two spots across the temples and that's where I'm going to base my scale on. So if I rotate here and I grab a point about there and then I rotate this way and I grab the same point across the mask there, you can see we're at about 166 millimeters across now. So I'm a, a little, about an inch too big. Uh, so what you can do is you can hit this little icon, edit to scale. So if we hit the edit button and we now type in our new measurement, 145.00 millimeters and hit scale, you will see that this whole thing now drops down the entire mass. The entire helmet now has been dropped down and scaled to that size. Fantastic. But as a double check, I know I need 210 to 215 from nose to back. So let's go ahead and restart this measurement selection. I'm going to go ahead and grab a spot here at the tip of the nose. And, then, and if you need to zoom in, you can. I'm going to click there. I am now going to rotate around to the back, and I'm going to grab something about here-ish. So you can see I'm at 208.12. That's, uh, that's okay. Uh, I can live with that. Um, I think 205 was about the bottom end of where I wanted to be. Uh, 210, maybe 215 would be more optimal. Um, so I can certainly stretch this that way. Uh, but if I, if I now scale this up, it's going to scale the whole thing again. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it where it is. I'm going to do a test print. Now, <clears throat> now that I know that this thing is scaled about where I want it, uh, I don't want to, um, yeah, I mean, you can, but I don't want to go print the whole thing and just pray that it works. I just want to print a cross section of this to do a test fit before I go ham and print the whole thing. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the cut tool to perform that action. So click on the cut tool above, and I'm just gonna go ahead and first, what I wanna do is, I, you know, you can see how the nose, this whole section is sitting off the bed. It's all sort of hinged on the bed with just this little tail piece. For the purposes of the test print, I'm gonna lop that guy off. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna mouse over and get the little gray or yellow ball here, and I'm gonna drop this all the way down, and I'm gonna go just below the nose and cut this tail off, maybe just a, a little bit higher. Right there is perfect. Now, here I'm going to say, do I want to keep the upper part? Do I want to keep the lower part or both? I don't want to keep the lower part, so I'm going to uncheck that and say perform cut. Um, Non-manifold edges are caused. Do you want to fix it? Sure. Go ahead and fix it. This can take some time, depending on your machine. So I'm going to let this run. We'll be back in just a second when it finishes. Okay, so we're all done there. 
now we're, we're sliced at the bottom. So again, all I want to do is uh, print a cross section of this. So I don't care about doing the whole top of this just yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the cut tool one more time. Okay. So I'm going to grab, make sure where we have the little yellow ball. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print just above the top of the ear hole here uh, so that I'm not printing all this. Now, again, I, uh, I don't want to keep the upper part, so I'm going to uncheck that. I do want to keep the lower part. Perform cut. I'm going to get the same error again. Yeah, I do want to go ahead and fix it. So hit that. And again, this will be a second, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we're all set here. It is cut. It is ready to go. Um, obviously, I'm going to add supports where I need to around the eyes, around the ear holes. But I'm going to go ahead and print this out on A1, and let's see how it turns out. So here we go, off the A1, fresh off the A1. Um, you can see it printed it printed to completion, no problems. I'm actually really impressed with the print quality, even at a 0.24 layer height uh, in draft mode. Uh, everything's just sort of falling apart. Trying to do uh, remove supports one-handed is a bit of a bear, so uh, I end up <clears throat> cutting this thing off, cutting the video off so I can handle it uh, myself. But man, the uh, the print quality, the wall quality of uh, the Bamboo Labs A1 is wackadoodle. There is some some you know very obvious cleanup that would need to happen around where the supports are and the eyes and things like that and that's nothing out of the ordinary uh, but overall i'm very impressed with the quality of the print so it is printed here we go uh moment of truth let's make sure it works so uh you know again you can see there in the eyes a little bit of cleanup there with sandpaper or a and or a soldering iron to sort of melt things off but this for a fit test is completely good so if we go like this pull it back on I might just do all the all my videos like this going forward uh, with just this thing. So it fits good. I can get it on. I can get it off. No problem. So the scaling tools within Orca Slicer seem to work just fine. Uh, so there you go. Um, now I may go print this uh, to completion, and I may not. I don't know. Um, but the tools are there for you to do so if you want to give it a shot. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time. Talk to you soon.